starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles. Hi. And welcome to part two of my selfless sewing plans. Um, so if you've not seen, um, well actually I guess you could say this is part three because I did have a video where I told you uh, why I am um, looking to make um, some garments for other people. So you can catch that video there. Um, I've then done a video where I've shared the first lot of makes that I've made for other people. So you can catch that there. Um, and then this video, I'm showing you the na next batch of makes that I've made for other people. You might notice several outfit changes throughout the video because I'm recording them as I go, because uh, a lot of the things that I'm making are for gifts. Um, so uh, rather than um, hanging on to the gifts and making people wait for them, um, I'm videoing them as I go. So um, the first thing that I wanted to show you today is some super sweet little shorts that I've made for my great niece. So here they are. I'll bring them in closer in a second and show you the detail. But these are the, I'm not quite sure how you say it, I think it's called iCatty uh, or iCat um, children's sewing patterns. Um, it's a French company and this is, I think it's called the Ivana pants. I'll put some text in to correct it if I'm wrong there. Um, so you can make, there's different versions, you can make shorts like these, you can make um, trousers, you can attach braces, um, which I will actually be attaching some braces for these, but I just need to um, get my great niece to try these on and so I can measure how long the braces need to be. Um, and you've got different pockets. So on these ones, you've got patch pockets, uh, whereas you've got kind of a sailor pocket with buttons um, as, a, as a different version as well. Um, I did have um, some difficulties trying to work out the size for my great niece because she doesn't fit into a, a, a standard a, age three um, mould, but I, so I wasn't quite sure how it was going to work out because I had to do quite a bit of grading between different sizes for the waist and the height. Um, but they, they look okay, she's not tried them on yet, so whether they fit I do not know. Um, in fact, if I've, I've, perhaps by the time this video goes out, um, she will have tried them on. So if I'm inserting a picture here of her wearing them, then you know it's thumbs up and they fit. Um, if I don't, then uh, maybe they don't fit or she wouldn't stand still for long enough for me to get a photo. So I'll bring these in um, a little bit closer in a second and show you the detail. Um, the pattern, it, it's a great pattern, it's lovely. It's all come together very well. I did find the instructions a little bit not confusing in, at times but a little bit overwhelming because you've got the different versions but then you've got different options within that as well so you've got adjustable elasticated waist, non-elasticated waist, standard elasticated waist and then the different pockets um, and rather than kind of having instructions for different versions it'll kind of go you've done the steps that apply to all versions and then if it's version one self-elasticated waist you follow here if it's version two adjustable castigated waist you follow here so i just found it quite tricky to keep on top of where i was going next for the version of um, shorts that i was wearing but it didn't help because i was actually reading the instructions on my phone because uh, i had no paper to print them off um, so it maybe if it was kind of on a full a4 um, it would have been much easier than trying to read it on my tiny phone what I've also done is made her a little badge out of some leftover scraps. Um, so let me bring you these in and show you in detail. Really cute bow belt. You've got uh, little belt loops. It's a flat waist at the front, but it's elasticated at the back. It's got these cute patch pockets and a turn up and with the patch pockets and the turn up I've used pink top stitch thread 
just show you the label. There's a lovely lady who watched my video um, about labels here on YouTube and she very kindly sent me some um, labels that she'd created on her sewing machine to me in the post all the way from America. So thanks very much Patricia and here is the um, first one included in my garments. There'll be um, many more added in. And then here is the little badge that I've made. So all I did is put two layers of fabric, two layers of interfacing and then just stitched around the edge and then I've just added a little um, badge pin with a glue gun on the back. So that's the first make, super cute little shorts. I'd actually love to try and grade these up to make them to um, fit me so I'll see how I, how I can do that. Um, the only tricky bit that um, I found was doing a waistband and I, and I always, I don't get on very well with waistbands so when it comes to um, catching them at the uh, right place so that you're just catching when you're stitching in the ditch so that you're kind of catching the waistband in the right place. I did find that there was some area at the back um, where the waistband had the, it had dropped down a little bit lower at the back so it could have come unravelled so I just had to do a bit of zigzag stitching over the top to stop that from fraying. I think what I definitely do next time is put some bias binding around the um, bottom inside edge of the waistband so that I don't have to worry about that too much. So yeah that is it and um, I will move on to show you the next make. Okay, so the next um, make that I want to share with you is the Cardi that I made for my mum. So what I was making for her is the, I think it's called Kinder, let me just check. Yeah, that's right, the Kinder got Cardigan, uh, which is in the Wendy Ward Sewing with Knits book um, which is a really good book has got loads of uh, wardrobe basics in here um, and my mum really loved the cardigan so that's what I've made for it. She likes totally different colourways to what I like, she likes a lot of dark colours, blacks, blues, greys and she wanted like a charcoal grey type colour so this is the version that I've made for her um, Sorry if it's going a bit bright, the sun keeps glaring in. Um, so this is made from a really soft and stretchy jersey, um, which I think I got from Girl Charlie. I will um, check and put some text in to correct if I've got that wrong. Um, <clears throat> So she wanted one really, she, she um, goes away in the caravan a lot and she wanted one uh, where she can um, just kind of put it over um, some tracksuit bottoms or, or whatever um, and, and go around on the, the caravan club um, rather than kind of wearing PJ, so she just wanted something comfortable. Um, so yeah, the, the jersey is really stretchy. Um, it's really light, really drapey, but it still worked very well with this cardigan. I didn't add pockets on this version because I found with the fabric, they were a little bit too saggy, a little bit too um, drapey. I guess I could have interfaced them, but uh, decided just to leave the pockets off on this version. So I'm just going to flick to a video where this is on the mannequin and I can show it you in a little bit more detail. Okay, so just to show you the Kinder Cart got cardigan in uh, close-up detail, so you can see you've got the neck band which runs all the way around it. And then you also have a cuff which you attach to the sleeve, which I think just adds a really nice um, detail and makes it comfortable. You can see at the hem I have used a twin needle not the neatest in the world because I'm not great at twin needling but uh, it's worked out okay and then on the I've actually sewed the whole thing using the overlocker um, so all the way through on the inside the edges are finished with overlock thread and that's it it's uh, really nice and drapes really well And my mum has tried it on and it fits and she really loves it so it's a big thumbs up for that one. 
The next thing that I have made is a t-shirt for the hubby. So here it is. And this is the, just check on my phone, the Metro t-shirt by um, Liza Lunko. I don't know if I've said that right. Um, so it's a really, really basic um, crew neck t-shirt uh, with the uh, sleeves. Um, and I've done it in the uh, mustard striped jersey, which I got um, from Girl Charlie. Um, I have done the stripe matching down the side seams which I was quite pleased with and as you can see I've made myself a top out of the leftovers so I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, so this t-shirt came together uh, really quickly and really easily. Um, the only mistake that I made which was really annoying is the neck band. You've got a uh, join at, at the back um, and initially I sewed the neck band on the wrong way round so the join was at the front um, so I had to unpick it which wasn't the best because I'd sewn it on the overlocker and unpicking overlocker threads um, isn't my idea of fun. Uh, but I did unpick it and sewed it back on again the right way around um, and then it's okay. Um, so yeah, it came together really quickly and easily. Unfortunately, I don't have a cover stitch machine at the moment. Um, so I have um, just had to use a twin needle to hem. Um, and it worked out okay, although I do find that using the twin needle doesn't always work out um, perfectly, but, but it's worked out okay. Again, he's tried it on and it fits him and I think he'll get a lot of wear out of that and I think I will end up making him lots of different versions. So the top that I've made, I know this is supposed to be about selfless sewing, but I couldn't resist because there was just enough fabric left over. The top that I've made is a um, Tilly and the Buttons Cocoa. Um, I did have to make it short sleeved because I didn't have enough of the fabric and I have gone for the funnel neck. Um, but I've had to do the neck with the stripes and the opposite direction because I didn't have enough of the fabric to um, cut the collar out um, with the stripes horizontally. Um, but I actually really like how it turned out. And that's the shape. So it's a top rather than a dress. I wasn't sure how this was going to work out because the cocoa pattern does um, tell you to work with fabric that doesn't have a great deal of stretch and this has quite a lot of stretch in it um, but I think it's, it's, it's worked out really well um, and it's super super comfortable. Now one thing that I did do because I wasn't sure how this collar was going to look, um, I have been using and loving the uh, My Body Model um, computer app. Um, if you're not familiar with it, I'll put a link in the show notes. Uh, but ultimately it's a, um, a, a cro croquet. Um, like I, I'm rubbish with words, I never know whether I'm saying things right or not, but you know what I mean, the, the body that you use to um, draw your designs onto, um, but it's actually made to your own body measurements and your own body shape, so when you are designing garments or planning your makes, you, you're seeing what it looks like on your body rather than one of the unrealistic um, uh, cro croquets that are used in um, kind of standard fashion design. Um, so I've started planning out my uh, makes and I'm keeping them in this nice little folder. I'm just going to um, flick to a video um, where I'll film it with my phone so you can see that in more detail and I'll tell you a bit more about that. Okay so just to show you my sketches for the cocoa top so I've done um, two versions so the first one I've done the cocoa top with ginger jeans um, and the second one I've done the cocoa top with the Fiona dungarees and I just put a little scrap of the fabric on the sheet as well. Um, I've used Derwent ink to actually paint the sketches 
and so what I'd do, I would do is I'd use the my body model um, I would print that off I've then used a tracing box to trace it onto the watercolor paper and then use the ink to color and then I've just used like a fine liner uh, marker just to go around the edges Okay, and finally, I have nearly finished my friend's uh, Jennifer Lauren handmade Pippi pinafore. It's not quite finished yet, um, and then I needed to come down. My mum and dad, um, and I, would, I showed some makes for my dad and my mum, um, I don't think they're really into having their photos taken and uh, putting it on uh, my, my vlog, but my friend is definitely up for that. So we'll get some photos taken to share when this is finished. Um, but it isn't quite finished yet because I needed her to try it on um, and it fits her absolutely perfectly. She looks absolutely stunning in it, which is great. Um, so it's made from this polka dot, like denim chambray. Um, it's very nearly finished. All I need to do is hem it, add the buttons and finish the waistband on the inside. So I'll share that very soon. So that is it, that is the next part of my selfless sewing. I've actually really, really enjoyed making stuff for um, other people and I'll definitely carry on doing it, but I do have some plans for things that I need to uh, make for myself as well. Um, some of my Minerva Crafts blogger network makes, but then I'm planning some slow projects as well, thinking ahead more for the autumn time. So I will share that on a video soon. I've got um, quite a few different coats and jackets that I'm looking to plan. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Do give me a thumbs up if you have and um, feel free to leave any comments in the comments below. I do always read comments and I um, do reply wherever I can. Don't always reply straight away because I kind of plan in some time during the week um, to, to go through um, all the comments and, and reply, but I do love to read your comments um, on how you are finding the videos. So take care whatever you're up to, enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you very soon. Bye! Just like a child I live in wonderland All my dreams are coming true Heavy shackles used to hold me down now my feet don't even reach the ground Just like